going on YouTube? Welcome to Ice Stuff Gaming, and today we are going to be talking about my opinion on the state of ranked conquest. Now, this isn't necessarily what I feel about it, how I feel the meta should be. This is mostly for cues, right? So, it has been a common subject to talk about whether or not they should allow more than two people in a ranked match uh, grouped up together. And I do remember there was a time that there was a thing, but they took it out um, for several reasons. Um, one being that professional players would just always team up together and just stomp lower ranked people and just climb the ladder board. Another reason being that some people would get carried to a really high rank uh, race that they don't deserve and people were complaining about that, so they took it out. And today I'm going to be giving my opinion on what I think should uh, should be the case with rank views. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to keep up with any future content. I'll be leaving my link to my Discord and my Twitch in the description below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to so Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, I am one of the few people who would actually like a five-man queue. Um, I have a couple reasons. Of uh, reason number one, this is a team-based game. Why on earth? Like it, it, it just feels like it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, very obvious. You know, this is a team-based game. You should be able to play with a team you can communicate with. Now, a lot of people are gonna say BGS or type it out. You can even type it out on console now, but. Typing, no matter how fast you type, is going to be slower than just saying enemy missing left. Or putting it into the VGS. Or telling your teammate, hey, I saw, I don't know, Al Kwong go into the jungle on the left side. Be careful, be careful over there. Right? It makes it extra uh, that much easier to deal with an enemy team. Right? Plus, on top of that, there is less toxicity among your friends that isn't playful. <laughs> um, most of the time, like, you, you've always, everybody's run into the situation where an enemy team, or a teammate is doing bad, or they're not doing, or you're not doing what they specifically want you to do 100% of the time, and they start BGS spamming, being toxic, throwing slurs, and... It makes the feel for rank that much less. Plus, um, just being able to play with your friends. It's a whole. It's a whole point of a game like this, right? Which leads me to point number two. All right. So you see this down here where it says MMR. Now this is my PC account. Um, I can do ranked on my console account, but you know, console. I mean, PC just looks that much better. So I'm trying to lower the ranked, right? But Everybody has heard the term ELO hell, right? Or MMR hell, where you say you can't rank up because the people that you're playing with are just so bad that you always end up losing. Now, there is some truth to that. Um, first, I'm going to play Devil's Advocate. Yes, if you play well enough and you play gods that hard carry every single game, you can get out of ELO hell. However, um... Everybody knows that there's all that y'all have had a game where there's just that one person who absolutely doesn't know what they're doing, right? They, for example, you have a Marlin that tried to go to the solo lane even though he queued up for the carry lane, right? Or you have somebody who has never played the character in their life or has doesn't know how to build, so they're only buying T1 items, T1 items all the way through, or have those people who are constantly feeding and they don't know how to ward, how to play safe, how to do this, this, and that, and the other. Being able to queue up with your friends and mitigate that. Um, no one should be, no, no one should be, for, no one should be forced to deal with people that don't know what they're doing, especially, and it's all, it, on top of that, if the game forces you to get to level 30 before you can even start doing ranked. I've been playing now. I've been playing Smite almost every single day, at least five 
to 10 matches on my PC account without EXP boosters. This is without EXP boosters. And I'm still only level 20. I'm still only level 29. And I and the people that I'm starting to play with now with how well I'm doing just in regular con just in regular conquest should be nowhere near bronze and silver or gold or even, sometimes even gold ranks yet you still get people who just what they're doing and it's very it's very frustrating to deal with things like that. now this leads me to point number three so i do remember there was a point in time where five man ranked q was a thing and a lot of people are going to say that the reason that they got rid of it was two main reasons okay. reason number one People used to queue up with bad people and then carry them straight to plat, straight to masters, straight to diamond, straight to gold, whatever rank they wanted to, them to boost them to. Right? That's reason number one. Reason number two was is that pros would only play with each other and just demolish people and ranks. Right? Now, there's a problem with that mindset. Here's the first thing. People are going to get carried through ranks no matter what, right? Whether it's a five-man queue, you can only queue up with two people. People are going to get carried no matter what. It just happens, right? People are going to, um, and, pro and the thing about that is, is that the only way to get better at a game is to not only play a lot, but to lose and learn how and why you're losing. And getting better because of that. If you go against pros and you watch how they play and you see how they're playing, well, if you lose, then you lose. That's just how it's just how it's supposed to be. They're not, they're not hacking the game. They're not doing something that you don't know how to do. They're not doing something that you don't have the skill to do. They're just good at the game, which means if they can do it, you should be able to do it. That's not an excuse for why there shouldn't be a five man queue. Um, regardless of how people think about it, people are going to get carried, and people are going to want to, and pros are going to be playing the game, no matter what. Final K still plays casuals. Um, I can't remember his name, but Mast, he plays casuals. I haven't seen him plus a video in a while, but he plays casuals. You don't think they carry? Or have y'all not watched videos where they can't carry, and the team that they, they're with are just not up to snuff, or the enemy team are just better? They upload videos like that, and it's not alien and it's not a terrible thing to lose to people who are grouped up that just means well for one get some friends to play with right this is a social game get some friends stop being toxic learn and group up with people right play with friends you know it makes the experience that much better and um i really do feel like just because somebody else gets carried doesn't mean you should hurt everybody else by taking away five me now up next, I'm going to be talking about my solution to, to the five-man queues. So, in my opinion, while I do agree there should be five-man queues to say everybody, I believe that there should be a one- to two-man group up, and then there should be a five-man group up only. Those ranks together. That way, people who are playing with friends only have to only play, with, play against people who are playing with friends, or... People who just want to solo queue or just queue up with one single buddy can queue up against those people. That's how it should be. But I understand that there's going to be some issues with that because not everybody's going to have a full set of five friends who want to play the game. So there should just be whoever, however many people you queue up with, there, um, however many people you queue up with, you should go in with that number of people. That's just how it should be. Um, I understand that people are not going to agree. So if you have any disagreements or you want to talk to me or have a discussion with me in the, in the comment section, don't forget to comment. If you like the video, don't forget to like. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I do do Twitch and I do have a Discord, so check those out in the description below. And without further ado, I'll catch y'all later.